In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to install Magic 360 in OpenCart. At the moment the product image looks flat on my page. There is an option to view a larger image but it's a pop-up and to me it looks uninspiring. So I want to change that from this to this. My image is completely transformed. I now have a 360 degree spin so customers can see every angle of the product. Add to that the magnify effect option and the product looks amazing. But that's not all. Magic 360 also allows you to see the 360 spin in a full screen option. It's the ultimate zoom tool for selling products. To get this effect we need to go to the Magic Toolbox website. If you go to the Magic 360 product page you'll see the open cart icon on the right hand side which will take you to the Magic 360 for open cart page. Click the download button and save the zip file to your computer. Extract all the files and the Magic 360 folder is what we'll upload to our server. I'm going to use FileZilla for this. Find the Magic 360 folder on your computer and upload it to the OpenCart directory on your server. This will take a few moments so pause the video here and start again once your folder is uploaded. The files have now finished uploading and you can see the Magic 360 folder is showing here. Open a web browser for the next step of the installation and enter your OpenCart website URL and after it enter Magic360. You'll be taken to this page and all you have to do is click install. And when that's finished click continue. Ok now that's done go to your OpenCart admin panel, click extensions, select modules. You can see in the list Magic360 is now showing. To complete the installation, click install. You can see an edit option has appeared which you need to click. This takes you to the Magic360 settings page. The last thing you need to do is enable the tool. Now that Magic360 is installed, I'll show you the images I've uploaded to my product. Go to the product you want to add Magic360 to. In my image section, you can see I've already uploaded 36 images. Each image moves ever so slightly and this is what will create my 360 degree spin. You can also see the images are numbered 1 to 36. This is the order I want my images to appear on my product page. By default Magic 360 is set to use 36 images to create the spin. If you want to use a different number of images you'll need to update the Magic 360 settings page. You can see the product ID's default is set to all, which can stay the same, or you can change this by entering each product ID that will use Magic360. It's entirely up to you. The setting for the number of images on x-axis defaults to 36. This is the number of images you'll use to create the 360 degree spin on your product. We recommend you use either 18 or 36 images to create your spin but you can use any number you want. Whichever number you choose, make sure it's entered here. Now that's done, we can preview Magic360 in action. Refresh your product page and watch how smooth the 360 spin is. Don't forget there's also the magnify effect and the incredible full screen spin. Now that Magic360 is installed, let's make some changes. First we'll change the shape of the magnifying glass and then the text that appears under the image. To do this go to the Magic360 settings page. The first change to make is in the Magic360 section where you'll change the magnifying glass shape. Scroll down to the shape of magnifying glass option and change this from inner to circle. Next scroll down to the miscellaneous section and change the message under images option to any text you want to appear under your main image. Remember to save your changes. Now when you refresh your product page you can see the magnifying glass is a circle and the text under your image has changed. To see what looks great on your OpenCart website try all the options on the settings page. At the top of each page on our website there's a contact us link so if you have any questions about Magic360 or any of our other tools just get in touch. If we're not online when you send your message through 
We'll get back to you the very next day. And that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching.